Welcome to round four of the first rapid play from the 2013 British Chess Championships. Um, and I was on a staggering two out of three, so two and a half out of three. So yeah, I won that many points. I couldn't keep up with how many I had. And I was expecting and maybe a 200 plus grade at least, but I actually got the other surprise package, which was David Freyer, who was 2003 three day and 178 ECF. Now, th although this is um, still quite a strong player, a lot of people were surrounded by 200 plus grades. It was at like, board four or something above Mac Hebden. Um, so I could do again a result. If I, I thought if I get a result in this game, I'll probably get um, a title next round or someone very strong anyway. But of course, I wanted to win. I played e4. He played d6. So I got very excited. Now looking forward to maybe an Austrian attack hack up. But after d4, knight f6, knight c3, he played e5. So we are now transposed into a Philidors. After knight f3, knight bd7. Uh, and the best line probably is the sheer of gambit in this position with g4. But I don't know the theory, and he probably does. So he's played a very modest setup actually. I didn't even castle queenside. I played h3, stopping the knight g4s. Put the bishop on e2, because if if you put the bishop on c4 it can be hit by stuff like b5 or b5 uh, castles whoops both castles like, I, I castle short in the end um, I don't think my setup is very aggressive so it doesn't justify queenside castling and now he went a bit crazy actually because he played b6 which shocked me because I expected b5 queen d2 queen c7 after rook a d1 he played a6 as well and they all played this inst instantly as well I think he had 21 minutes at this point so he's put his pawns on a6, b6, c6, d6 for some reason. And this is far from the ex ex the only eccentric thing he does, because in one of his games he played e4, c5, queen, h5. And won with it as well. Which is, of course, a very pass like opening. Um, so, I decided to think of a plan, and I tried to reroute the knight round. So I played knight h2, which is perhaps not the best move. But I wanted to unblock the f pawn and get some attack going. Maybe just something like king h one's better. I'm trying to wait to see what black does. After knight h two, at least he got him thinking. He decided to relieve the central tension. I played bishop takes, and I played knight into c five, which um, attacks the e four point. And I do not want to really play f three because one, I want to play f four and f five. And two, it leaves massive holes around my king on the dark squares, so you can consider moves like knight h5. If my, um, well, actually, we'll better play knight h5 on my, because my bishop won't be on it. And I could have played queen e3, but I decided to play bishop d3. Because the point is, if he takes, then I play c takes, and I'm, control I'm controlling e4. Um, and he's, I think I'm better in this position, because he's played some very passive moves on the queen side. Bishop came to e6, developing the last piece into the game and getting the rooks talking to each other. I played f4, trying to get some attack going. So my plan basically is to play f5 with tempo, his bishop will move and I'll play g4, g5 and I've got a lot of pieces there named his king and it's hard to get out of my king and he's not really got any counter play on the queen side. He played knight takes d3, c takes d3 and then c5. So he's trying to get counter play going. I dropped the bishop back to f2. Now he played b5. So, I, so I've got to be quick now because he's going to play moves like b4 and c4 and try and rip open files on the queen side and his heavy pieces will infiltrate. Um, so I decided to play f5. And I, I was happy, I expected his bishop to move. Yeah, I'll play g4. With g5 and f6 idea, stick the king in the corner. The computer, like, Reeb card does not actually like this plan. But I like it and it's rapid so it's very dangerous. But he played b4. And I was like, hmm, I've not considered that move. So it does lose a pawn, but he does get some counterplay for it. And so what's his point? Well, the only actually really good move I've got actually is to take the material as well. Because if I move the uh, knight, I have to sacrifice my a2 pawn. Say knight e2. I think he can get away with taking this. I didn't, I didn't really see enough attack in return for it, because I, I didn't think it's worth a pawn, the potential attack I might get. It's unclear what far it's going to go. 
So I decided to take the bait and took the bishop because as well, as well I also I get rid of his bishop pair. So he takes my knight and I take his pawn with check. So of course now he gets his um open f file, but I don't think he's got enough of the pawn in this position. I was quite happy. I'm confident the three knife out of four and maybe playing Andrew Greet or something or Garmanly. Uh, rook a f8, knight f3, getting the knight back into the game. I'm friendly stuff like knight g5. So he played knight e8, which um, aims to try and prevent knight g5, and also um, prepares to unleash the rooks on my castle kingside position and gain some counterplay. So I played bishop h4, trying to get the um, bishops off. In fact, that was actually a blunder that. I think he could have just played rook takes f3. Because now after um, if I take it back it moves the defence to my um, bishop. And this is actually um, very good for black. But luckily he didn't play that. And play instead queen d8. And, and, I, and then I take it off and then play knight g5. I know in this position all the rooks are going to come off and there's not much material on the board and I'll be a part. It all came off. He throws a check but it doesn't do anything. And I see seven, trying to get the knight into b5 and try and hack my c pawn off the board. So I played a4 to stop that. h6, knight back to f3 and king h7. But now I was looking look at the position, I thought, okay, I'm a pawn, not for practically nothing, but how do I actually win this position? Because queen and knight can be a dangerous attacking combination. My king's potentially a bit open. So um, I need to think of a plan to win this position. And I played d4. Trying to get some central stuff going. So if c takes d4, then maybe the best actually is to take with the queen. So to queen f4, then you simply queen back to d3. And Blanc's conversation is very nebulous. But he didn't, he played queen e6. And I think I should have played maybe d takes c5, d takes c5, and then queen d8. But he just played something like knight e8, and then queen d5, and White has potentially a very good endgame on the way. I played queen f4 trying to get my queen and knight into attack of black's king and of course if he moves his h-pawn I'd win the other queen. And now he played queen f7. So queen d7 hitting my a4 point. And now this is where I missed um, a good move. I missed e5. So let's see why is this good. If queen takes a4 then Actually, we can think we can just play c takes d6, and this check is actually pretty harmless. So after e5, if it's taken, then we'll take it back with the knight perhaps. And then queen takes a4. I've got maybe queen f5 check. This is very dangerous. And then we're going to win the c7 knight with a fork next move. So he's got 98, but we can just play queen takes c5. Just very good for one e5. But I played a very bad move actually. I thought well, I'll get the queens off and I'll try and win the knight in games usually won the pawn up, but the problem is after queen f5 check takes takes knight d5, I can't keep the extra pawn. I played this but he does this and I've lost the pawn. I was getting short of time as well. I could feel this slip in between me and I was very annoyed now I'd blown the pawn up positioning as a strong player. And then we play this should be drawn this. But I nearly mess it up. In fact after a5, king g2, king g6, this. I played knight b3 and offered a draw and he actually rejected it because actually his king's getting very close to winning my pawns. But luckily I am my knight just back in time. And then he offered me a draw at this point which I accepted. So I was very disappointed not to have won. Um, so I was a pawn not for nothing, but it happens. And 3 out of 4 is still a very good score. And another draw against someone a lot higher rated to get some FIDE points. I hope you enjoyed this game. And please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.